construction of the phase two to add another 70 megaliters per day. Uh, currently, the plant uh, produces 160 megaliters of water. That's 160 million liters of water per day that uh, um, goes to Nelson Mandela. Now, we all know that we, we are in a very tight spot with drought and um, we don't know where we will end with a drought, whether it's going to rain later on in the year, but this project must complete and it's scheduled for many years now. Eventually after huge uh, fights and as well as uh, discussions with the minister and the department, funds were made available and this project is scheduled to, to complete by the end of next year. Um, we just worried that if the funding is stopped due to constraints in the budget of national water, uh, water and sanitation, you know, that could take us into 2020 and that's not where we want to be, you know, if the, the water has been planned to be delivered to, to Nelson Mandela next year. Have they given indications that there is going to be a problem? Yeah, they have. Um, the budget has been cut. Uh, initially, in the beginning of the financial year, the budget was 92 million for this financial year on a project of 390 million. The, um, the budget was then cut to 82 million uh, and then increased to 84 million. And on Wednesday last week, the budget has been cut to 58 million. The payments that's already been made on the project for, from they started in the beginning of the financial year is 53 million and there's outstanding invoices and equipment that's been ordered that will be delivered by um, February is another 28 million. So there is already a shortfall of 23 million uh, on the 58 uh, million budget. Um, we will sit down uh, urgently as well as the Metro, but within the Portfolio Committee on Water and Sanitation, we will have a discussion with the Minister uh, and make sure that the minister changed the decision around not to cut the budget. They'll have to find money somewhere else, but not cut on the budget of Noitgedag.